Hello and welcome to Blyron Productions, I'm Dez, and this past Sunday was Easter. And Easter, I found, is an interesting holiday, because you have Christianity, and the resurrection of Christ, and all that, and in this very major world religion, combined with the Easter Bunny, and Easter egg hunts, and things like that, and this very marketable uh, approach to the holiday, and so we've taken this very major world religion, combine it essentially with cute fuzzy animals. So I thought, today, why not do the same thing, but with old school mythology? So today we're going to be combining Norse mythology with cute animals. Alright, so we're going to jump here into the RD Games app once again. And this time, we're going to need to use the custom generator. I think we already have it set up quite nicely here. Norse gods, cute animals. Perfect. Custom generator. Go. Hell panda. Starting off great. This is this is gonna be interesting. So most of you probably know of the being or goddess Hell from the very popular Marvel movie for Ragnarok. And in that movie, Hell is depicted as being the goddess of death and Thor's secret older sister, the biological child of Odin. Now as what often happens with comics and other fictional writings based off of mythology, it deviates somewhat from the source material. In Nordic mythology, Hel is still the goddess of death and rules over the realm also called Hel, but she is not Thor's older sister, nor is she the daughter of Odin. She is actually referred to as the daughter of Loki. Now her physical appearance in the movie deviates greatly from her description in mythology. In the Nordic mythology, she is described as being half blue and half flesh colored and having a gloomy and downcast appearance. Now this is often interpreted as her being half dead and decrepit and the other half being the visage of a beautiful woman. So this particular mashup came together really, really nicely. I knew I wanted to basically take the core, some of the core elements of Hell, the goddess, and implement them onto a panda. And while I was looking up references for Hell, I came across this image by Hannah Beoving. I'm not sure I'm pronouncing that right, but um, and it was, I thought it was very, very cool and a very interesting approach to the look of hell. I really liked how instead of having an actual dead face, she used very Celtic knot style designs to emulate the the shape of a skull and that, that dead looking face and I thought it looked very very beautiful and very cool and I wanted to implement that into my design for the Hell Panda. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to like it and subscribe to keep up with all my content. You can also follow me on Facebook, 
Instagram, and Twitter. And if you want to go the extra mile and really lend a lot of support, you can follow me on Patreon. Doing so really helps the channel to grow and also allows you access to exclusive content that you otherwise wouldn't be able to get to. Again, thank you for watching, and I hope to see you next week.